Hey what's up guys welcome back. Long time ago I made a video on difference between for loop and while loop and you guys really loved it. In fact it's one of the most viewed videos on this channel. Thank you for that. So I thought why not make another video on the same topic and add few more concepts to it. So here it is. So Python has two loops for loop and while loop unlike other programming languages like C, C++, Java where you get to see three loops for loop, while loop and do while loop. But in JavaScript you get to see five loops for loop, for off loop, for in loop, while loop, do while loop such a show off right. So let us talk about uh, loops in JavaScript in another video today let us focus only on loops in Python. So Python keeps it pretty simple that is the beauty of Python. So Python has two loops for loop and while loop. So the question here is when to use which loop ok. So for loop is used whenever we know the number of iterations ok. It is used for loop, for loop is used whenever we know the number of iterations. And while loop is used whenever we do not know the number of iterations, but we know the stopping condition. While loop is used whenever we do not know the number of iterations, iterations, but we know the stopping condition ok. Now let us take some examples and see how the for loop works and while loop works. So let us assume that we want to print numbers from 1 to 10. So for that I will take for i in range of 1 to 11. The reason why I have included 11 is because always the last value is discarded in the range function ok. So I will just print i and I will execute this here we can see it has printed numbers from 1 to 10 ok. Now let us say we want to print hello world 10 times and also we want to include the number of iterations. So for that what I will do is I will take for loop again for i in range of 1 to 11 print I will include this inside the f string. So hello world I will pass i inside this curly braces and I will execute this and here we can see it has printed hello world 10 times ok. So can I do the same with while loop as well? Yes I can do the same with while loop also. So let us see that. So first let me initialize a variable called i and I will give it I will assign the value as 1 and I will take while loop while i is less than 11. I will print i and I will increment i by 1 after every iteration. So I will execute this here we can see while loop has also done the same thing it has iterated numbers from 1 to 10. If I want to print hello world 10 times I can do the same as well. So I will just uh, copy and paste the same code and I will just make few changes here. I will remove this i and I will give hello world. I will pass i inside f string ok and I will execute this here we can see hello world has been printed 10 times. But do not you think whenever we are using while loop it is requiring more number of lines of code it is also a bit tedious task. So it is not sensible to use while loop when we know the number of iterations. So when you know the number of iterations you have to use for loop ok. So I will show you one more example whenever you want to iterate over a collection like list or tuple. So let me create a list like it, it is going to have few numbers in it and I will take for loop for i in range of length of list ok and I will just print list of ok and it has printed all these numbers from this list ok. So here in this scenarios I knew the number of iterations that is why I have taken for loop ok. 
So you can also do this in a shortcut way. You can remove this whole thing. You can remove length and range functions from here and you can directly print i ok it will do the same thing ok so when you know the number of iterations you can use for loop ok and it is sensible to use for loop when you know the number of iterations now let us take a look at when to use while loop so while loop is used whenever we don't know the number of iterations but we know the stopping condition we are aware of the stopping condition at that time we have to use while loop ok now let us take a scenario so let us say uh, the user want to log in into his account unless and until the user does not enter the correct user id and password we are not going to let him log in into his account if he enters the correct user id and password then only we are going to let him log in into his account so let us see that scenario I will take while true while true is an infinite loop it is going to execute until and unless it hits the break statement ok so I am going to uh, initialize two variables the first variable is user id let this be a uh, string type so I will take int input enter the user id ok I will take another variable called password password equals int input enter the password ok now I will take if condition if user id equals a b c d and password equals 1 2 3 4 ok so we will print login successful and we will break out of this while loop ok if the user enters incorrect user id or password we will just print out incorrect user id or password please try again so incorrect user id or password try again ok so, until and unless the user enters a, b, c, d as user id and 1, 2, 3, 4 as password, we are not going to let him log in into his account. If he enters these correct user id and correct password, then only we are going to let him log in into his account. So, let us see this output. So, it is asking me to enter the user id. I will give the wrong user id. It is asking me to enter the password. I will give wrong password. So, it has printed incorrect user id and pass or password try again so it is again asking me to enter the correct user id i'll give correct user id and i'll give wrong password so it has again printed incorrect user id or password this time i'm going to give correct user id and correct password so a b c d is the correct user id i'll give correct password 1 2 3 4 and it has printed login successful and it has successfully come out of the while loop ok so here in this scenario we do not know the number of iterations but we know the stopping condition right the if the user enters correct user id and correct password then only we are going to let him log in into his account ok so here in this scenario we do not know the number of iterations the user might take one time 10 times or 100 times to enter the correct user id or password we do not know the number of iterations but we only know the stopping condition so here in such scenarios we have to use while loop ok whereas here in these scenarios we know the number of iterations so we can directly use for loop so this is the main dif difference between for loop and while loop ok so please note note these points down so for loop is used whenever we know the number of iterations and while loop is used whenever we do not know the number of iterations but we know the stopping condition so this is the main difference between for loop and while loop i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in the next one until next time take care and if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one until next time take care and be safe